Well, there she is. Finally got her back. It's been a long month, six week process. Had to drop it off at the shop for two times. But the, finally the rear bumper, side kick outs, dual swing outs, is uh, it's done, painted, and completed. So what we went with was a uh, basket on the left with two, two jerry cans, can probably fit three, and it fits a small roadie Yeti. And then the passenger side we outfitted with a tire carrier. So, turned out real nice. It's all tubular, bent, low, pro, high clearance cut. So there you go. So one tube as the main bumper, then you got the kickouts, two swivel spindles on each side, and a relocated uh, trailer hitch. Definitely need to pick up a uh, drop hitch there. So the latch was actually kind of clever. Kind of went back and forth a lot with the uh, uh, coal. And uh, came up with a pretty good idea. So latches came in. There's the basket overlaps the tire kit here. And it uh, all latches in tight together. Keeps it from bouncing in the vertical and latches it down. So, just swing out. Yeah, right now there's not any stoppers. We'll have to come back and add those. Any stoppers? Simple design, but it's very effective. So, to close the swing outs, you shut the tire carrier first, comes up, the rest is on this little ledge right there, it's not allowed to go any further, then you take the basket, then you kind of have to intertwine them together, it's a little difficult with one hand, so overlap them together, and then slide this latch back there on that hook. So it gives a little rest, but then you gotta pick it up, and that's where like the tension is, keep it from bouncing. Is you gotta pick it up into that little pocket back there. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. Pick it up, and uh, latch it down. It's a pretty solid. No shake whatsoever. 200 pounds, putting my pushing my whole body weight. There's no vibration. So, really solid. Love it. Check out. Check out his stuff. Uh, awesome stuff. I'll make a link to Cole Mickey.